Hello and welcome back to another quick tutorial about how to compile Godot native script to iOS. First of all, let's create a new empty project and continue from there. So open Godot, new project, put the path where you want to uh, create the project, select or give it a project name and press create and edit afterwards you have finished. Now in the Godot editor select the 2D scene, press the play button and you will see ah, you do not have a main scene selected for now. So just hit command S depending on your device or just say save, give the scene a name, in that case main and play the press button to select it as a default scene. Now when you play press it should actually start the scene. Next we need to give it a new script and we need to prepare our stuff for Rust. So I use usually VI so that means let's open up the terminal and create a new library with cargo new lib and we call it hello world. Now the library got generated, we change to the directory and I fire up my editor of choice, in that case I will use VI. In the cargo tumble file I will now declare the dependencies like GDN uh, native in version 0.9.3. You usually can uh, check the version on cargo directly or on the rep uh, respective GitHub repository. With the lib we declare the type for the compiling of the library so we have per default CDY lib and for iOS we need a static library because otherwise linking is not allowed therefore we type in static lib and save the changes. Now it's time to heading back to our source code. So therefore I'm just using a hello world template or a hello world sample from the go.rust uh, repository. This hello world we will just copy and paste in our source code as we just want or as our source code because we just want to test the basic functionality of compiling it to iOS. In order to compile it to iOS you need of course to have the Rust toolchain for iOS installed and you need to use cargo LIPO or lip I, I'm not do not know how to pronounce it. So cargo lipo LIPO put the release parameter there and then everything gets compiled when you have the toolchain um, installed. Um, and yeah, the library gets built in the meantime. Here you can see also the, the GitHub repository with some further information for Cargo LIPO. If you do not have it installed, just follow these instructions. And then you should actually be able to compile it successfully. I will now invoke the comment and it will automatically start fetching all um, dependencies and so on. This takes some while, so I just made a full stop here already um, once it was completed. So next we need to declare a specific file. This is called this um, hello world, I call it, dot gdn lib. So this file you need to create yourself manually and the content of it, I just also take the content from the Hello World example and copy and paste it in. So this is the main important thing. This configuration is the only way how you make it work with uh, Rust in combination with iOS. All other attempts do not work. So you need really to create it manually yourself. St save the changes, quit and go back to the Godot editor create a new script for the node you would like to attach, a native script in that case, and ensure you pass the proper struct name. So in that case, it's like hello world. And enter it as a class name, hello world, as you can see, exactly same. And now we will load our declaration file for the go to 
native library what we said hello world we click one more time on it and remove all the previous defined paths by clearing it pressing the this kind of icon As you can see, it's not updated yet because we didn't save our changes. Now we did and therefore it's, it's cleared. And now we are ready to link with the, or to add our iOS library. And ensure this is for ARM64, as this is the default architecture now on iOS. Next, we can start doing the export of our project. We select iOS and first we need to put the App Store ID in it. You can actually type whatever you want. I usually try to um, modify it in the Xcode project itself. Then I need to put the identifier here. And then you need to put the images of the icons there. Three are required per default. Um, for simplification, I just put them now here from the from the generated template I create a build folder when I press the export button and now the Xcode project gets generated so heading back to our project folder you should see a new iOS build folder you click on it and launch the Xcode project as you can see there is one important thing still missing the Rust library was not automatically copied. So that means we need manually copy our compiled library for Rust back to the Xcode project. So therefore we go to target uh, arch64 release and here we have this lib hello world dot a file that's a static library and we copy it directly on the root of our Xcode project. Next, we start modifying the, the code signing identity because I just typed something in. I need to modify it and try to build the project. As you can see, now we have issues with our icons. So it's recommended to remove those icons and put the correct sizes as described in Xcode to it. Please pay attention on the correct image sizes. So here you can see I already changed the images and now you are ready to build the project and you see here the hello world. Please also note that you need to have the build on a real device as simulator is currently not working with this setup. So always use a real device and this should then work as shown in the tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.